Next could be coming to old school, and in the most recent blog, we just got the first look into what rewards they plan to offer. First things first though, before we hop into the rewards, they did give us a little information on how we are going to access next. The completion of Desert Treasure will be a requirement alongside a mini quest involving opening the Frozen Door. And once you've knocked out these requirements, you'll then gain access to the Outer Chamber, where you'll need to get something similar to Kill Count in the original God Wars dungeon, but instead you'll need to get an Essence Count of 40. And this will be done within the prison where you can take on four new foes reigning from Spiritual Warriors, Rangers, Mages, and Blood Reavers. However, on top of all that, you can still bypass this entire requirement of achieving 40 Essence with an Ecumenical Key. And if you have completed some of the combo achievement tiers, this Essence requirement is also lowered. Now for what we know about the boss fight in general, up to 80 players will be allowed within one boss room and the boss drops will work very similar to how they do with the Nightmare. All contributing players have a chance of obtaining a unique and this chance scales based on your individual contribution. And there will be a MVP feature with Nex and this will give you a bonus chance at a drop. They also did confirm that the Nex boss fight is largely based on the 2011 variant but with some slight modifications and balancing tweaks to fit old school. Now let's jump to the reason you clicked on this video and that is the potential next rewards. First up, I do want to mention they will be doing a beta world on October 20th, which is next week's update day, where we will have access to all of these potential rewards and you can go ahead and put them up to the test. But first up, in terms of rewards on this list, we have the Ancient God Sword. The Ancient God Sword has identical stats to all of the current God Swords we have in game. And in terms of getting the drop, it looks like it'll work exactly the same, where next we'll drop a hilt, and then you'll have to attach it to the blade. But now for the Ancient God Sword special attack, we have Blood Sacrifice, which takes 50% of your special attack energy, and it targets a single individual with double the usual accuracy. If it hits, it deals a normal hit with 10% extra damage, in addition, an 8 cycle timer starts, and if the target does not move within 5 tiles away before the timer ends, they'll be hit an additional 20 damage, and the attacker will be healed for the exact same amount. Next up, we have the Zerite Bow. Requiring 80 range, this tradable non-degrading bow can fire arrows all the way up to Dragon, and it has a special effect that uses charges. In multi-way areas, an additional target stood within 2 tiles of the main target will also be hit. However, this does not use an additional arrow and only uses one charge. And this bow will be charged using the Nihil shards, which are dropped by all the foes within the prison, including Nex. But a potential additional benefit with the Zerite bow is that it can hit an additional two targets if you have the Zerite Van Braces equipped, still using the same amount of charges and arrows. And if we scroll down here, they do give us a little DPS chart in terms of the Zerite bow against a few other range metas in game. This first chart is all of the range metas in terms of single way targets. You can see the Zerite bow is the red line, which kind of falls middle of the pack, if not anything more towards the bottom. But whenever we hop over to the multi-target range metas, you can see the Zerite bow with three targets, which is the brown line, comes in much higher and heavily competes with the Black Chinchampas with four targets while using a Buckler. Quickly before we move on though, I do want to note there has to be a different way we can showcase these charts because they are absolutely horrendous to read. The Zerai Bow would be best in slot in terms of ranged weapons for hitting 2-3 to three targets. However, Chinchampas would still remain best in slot when attacking 4-11 to 11 targets. They do go on to say though it has a considerable attack range and quick attack speed so it should feel quite different than any other ranged weapons. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the Zerite Bow. I feel like it's incredibly niche, but ultimately I guess I will be able to put that to the test in next week's update. Now moving on, we have the Zerite Van Braces, and these personally I am a massive fan of. I think a best in slot range glove item is long overdue, and the Zerite Van Braces do just that with offering a plus 18 range attack bonus alongside 2 range strength and they would require 80 range and 50 defense to equip, and they are tradable and non-degradable. Now moving on, we save the best for last, and that is the Virtus Armor. And those of you unfamiliar with the original Nex, the Virtus Armor set is the mage equivalent of the armors it did drop. 
And in terms of old school next, this will be the only armor set that next does drop. They do go on to mention down here that they are not against adding any of the additional sets, including Torva or Pernix, into the game. However, they didn't want to add too many pieces of armor with a single piece of content. They'd like to offer more armor rewards later in 2022 alongside another piece of content they have in mind. Virtus will require 75 defense alongside 80 magic. All three pieces are tradable and will not degrade. One very big change from the original Nex armors is that they did degrade, so this is a massive change. Additionally, each item gives a 3% damage increase to all ancient spells. And if you're wearing the entire set, smoke spells reduce healing by 30% while the target is poisoned. Additionally, if you're wearing the entire set, blood spells can heal up to 20% over the player's max HP. And ice spells have an additional 10% accuracy against already frozen targets. Now for a few additional uniques we have alongside the next release. The first one is the Nihil Shards. And these are consumables dropped by all foes within the Ancient Prison. And they will be used to charge the bow as well as they can be crushed into dust, which will be the secondary ingredient in the new Ancient Brew potions. And these potions will require 85 herb lore. You'll be able to make them by combining a dust with a dwarf weed potion, giving 190 herb lore XP. And when drunk, this concoction will boost your magic by 5% plus 2 and restore your prayer by 10% plus 2. This will also have the ability to boost up to 5% over the player's base prayer level. However, alongside these bonuses, it will drain your attack, strength, and defense by 10% plus 2. Next up, we have the Blood Essence, and if a player creates a Blood Rune with an activated Essence in their inventory, they will have a chance to create additional Blood Runes at a rate of 1,000 additional Blood Runes slash charges per Essence. This would result in slightly fewer XP per hour because you will have to have the Blood Essence in your inventory, but would result in a greatly increased Runes per hour. Coming alongside next, we will also have the Ecumenical Key Shards, and gather 50 of these and you can create yourself one Ecumenical Key. Please note that you cannot convert these shards to a key if you already have the cap, but by the way it sounds, you can actually stack up on these shards, and I'm assuming this could be a viable way of banking a few extra keys without actually having the keys already created. But now for the final reward, if you can even call it that, we have the Ancient Ceremonial Robes, and this set consists of a mask, top legs, gloves, and boots. Similar stats to monk robes. They will be added to the collection log as well. But if you are familiar with the old necks, wearing these will no longer allow players to bypass the essence count required to take on necks. But that's going to do it for today's video regarding the next reward blog. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of these rewards. Personally, I think they're kind of underwhelming for a boss with the caliber of necks. I think my favorite addition to this blog has to be the Zerite Van Braces, and I'm somewhat disappointed in the fact that we are getting Virtus instead of something like Torva. Ultimately, it does feel weird only getting one armor set drop from Nex, and even on top of that not being a clear best in slot across the board. Realistically, Virtus is only best in slot when using Ancient Spells, because the Ancestral pieces already have a base 2.5% damage across the board regardless of style. Not to mention you're looking at something like Bandos coming out in 2013 in comparison to the Ancestral pieces coming out in 2015 with the Cox Raid. Maybe there's more lore behind why Nex should drop Magic Armor that I just don't know. And they could also have bigger and better ideas for releasing item sets like Pernix and Torva into the game in the upcoming years. Regardless, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What you like, what you don't like, what you think needs changed. Either way, if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.